Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad He died for me. And now, thanks to Him, I've been set free. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now, let us hear the Word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. I'm getting older every day that I live. Look at these lines upon my face. And there's a sickness deep inside of me. Keeps my body wrecked with pain. Oh, but I don't worry about it too much when I reach that fair land. God's going to take it all away, make it a brand new day. Now, when Picture a brand new 
ministries. We truly thank God for the songs that we just heard. As my sister, my brother-in-law, and also my brother and sister in the Lord, Brother Kurt, playing for them. And I thank God for all three of them. They all mean a lot to me. Thank God for their singing song. Listen. The Bible says we are begotten by the word. You know, I seem like seem like we used it. God blessed us to use this message earlier today. And the thought line that we was on earlier today is that people losing their enthusiasm on serving God. Sometimes it's just a formality to people that they're they're, they lose their enthusiasm. They're, they're not excited anymore, you know. And I believe as children of God, we ought to get excited because we're serving a living God. Amen. I'm made to believe, listen, we may read some scripture here in a minute, but listen, I'm made to believe that, listen, when we put God first in our life, all things are possible. And today, you know, it seemed like God had, God had just overwhelmed, you know. The Spirit's been all the way all day. And that God is... We realize that God is God and we put him out front in our lives and I'm made to believe according to the word of God, Brother Kurt, Brother Mikey, that uh, the word of God says that all these other things he will add to our life. Listen, I believe in physical and in spiritual things he will add it to our life. But listen, I, I believe God has to be first. Listen, my friend, he has to be first <laughs> before our children even or before our wives or whatever it might be. And, Listen, we're going to read the scripture. I hear about uh, Peter. Peter began to talk to the Lord, and he began to uh, let them come, and they all with wonder at things that have been going on. And they all began to ask, they said, Who do men say? Jesus asked them, Who do men say that I am? And they began with their all of them saying, Well, some say you're John the Baptist or one of the prophets from old, but Listen, Jesus began to ask, and I believe with all my heart that he looked right at Peter when he said, Whom do you say that I am? And the Bible says that Peter looked at him and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he said, Blessed art thou, Peter, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I began to think about the zeal that he had, and he was a, a willing to stand forth and say, Listen, I... I believe you are the Christ. I believe you are the one that came, that was supposed to come and uh, take away the sins of the world. I, uh, listen, if we could just get that zeal in our lives today, I, uh, being able to stand out uh, in a crowd, wherever we might be, and proclaim Jesus, uh, uh, to be the way, the truth, and the life, my friend. Uh, uh, listen, the churches are losing that zeal today. Uh, uh, listen, sometimes we'll go to church uh, and it seems like we sit there. Uh, we go through all the formalities. Uh, we'll go through all the things. Uh, uh, listen, we'll sing songs. Uh, uh, listen, but where's the zeal at? Uh, uh, listen, when you realize you are serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Uh, uh, listen, you've got something to shout about. Uh, uh, you've got something to get happy about. Uh, uh, you've got something, uh, uh, my friend, to get a little excited for the curse. Uh, uh, listen, that we can just stand up uh, and know for a shout of a doubt. I listen that Jesus is ours and am his. I listen. He said when he comes in to make you the boat. I listen with us. There's a change that comes over our life. I listen that you can't explain it. I listen. But we can sure share it with a lost and dying world. Amen. And that's what we're hoping to do today upon this program is to tell you that there is a way out. I listen that there is a better hope in this world. I listen that what we have. Uh, listen, people today, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, looking for everything they can, but I want to tell you something. The answer is Jesus. Uh, uh, she said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know there's no other name given under heaven, my friend, uh, uh, whereby we must be saved uh, uh, than that of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, listen, and knowing this, uh, uh, listen, we turn and think about, uh, uh, listen to Peter, uh, uh, listen, he didn't hesitate uh, uh, to give that answer he said, I know, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that you are the Christ. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, as time went on, uh, uh, listen, they all forsake him. Uh, uh, listen, one time uh, in the scriptures, he told them, said, uh, 
As the scripture says that the shepherd will be smitten and the scattered, the sheep will be scattered. Unless it had to happen. Unless but there was a time. Unless that Jesus had to fulfill the things that had to, he had to go to the cross. Why? Because it was written. He had to go and shed that blood. For the Bible says without the shedding of blood, Brother Kurt, there'd be no remission of sin. But because he did this, unless because he was faithful. Uh, to the end, you and I have a right uh, to life, a uh, uh, listen everlasting uh, uh, through Jesus Christ. And we begin uh, uh, to wonder, a uh, uh, listen how that, a uh, uh, listen all these things uh, uh, come to pass, a uh, uh, listen, but yet, a uh, uh, listen. He told Peter one time uh, uh, when he was a uh, uh, listen to doubt, a uh, uh, listen. He told him, said, you know, uh, listen. Peter told him, the Lord said, I'll go uh, even to the grave with you. Uh, and he said, Peter, a uh, uh, listen before the cock crows, you will even deny me. A uh, uh, listen, but uh, I, mean, I want you to know this was the same one, a uh, uh, listen that had proclaimed him to be a uh, son of God. A uh, uh, listen, uh, he told him he would deny him. He said, Lord, though I die, uh, uh, listen, uh, I will not deny you. Uh, he said, yes, you will, Peter. Uh, uh, listen, God spoke and it had to happen. Amen. Uh, had nothing else to say. Uh, uh, listen, but one thing about it, uh, uh, he began to tell him, Kurt, uh, and he said, listen, uh, uh, when you come to me, uh, uh, listen, I want you to strengthen your brother. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and I don't know how a lot of people would take this. Uh, uh, listen, but it's the truth. Uh, uh, there was a movement started. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, when Peter come back to the Lord, uh, uh, listen, he said, when you come back, you strengthen your brother. Uh, uh, listen, uh, when he uh, got realized, uh, uh, the same one that had denied him, uh, uh, the same one that had uh, uh, listen, said that he didn't even know him. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the Bible says that all the disciples' sons would die. Uh, uh, listen, we were persecuted. Uh, uh, the very ones that were scattered. Uh, uh, listen, uh, proclaim him to be the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Uh, uh, listen, that's what we need to do. Uh, uh, listen, Peter began. <coughs> Peter began. Uh, uh, listen to go. Uh, uh, listen and preach the gospel. Uh, and he looked at him. Uh, uh, listen. He said, Peter, uh, uh, listen. Uh, uh, thou art the rock. Uh, and I believe. Uh, uh, listen. And he pointed at himself and he said, Upon this church, uh, I will build my church. Uh, uh, listen, my friend. Uh, he didn't say another church. He said, My church. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, it ain't about the name uh, over the door. Uh, it's about the name written upon your heart, my friend. Uh, uh, listen. And if we'll stand on the word of God. Uh, listen, uh, regardless of what comes against us in this old world, uh, uh, listen, we'll be able to stand. Uh, uh, listen, the fire darts of the devil. Uh, uh, listen, for he made a promise that he would never leave us, uh, uh, never forsake us. Uh, uh, he will go all the way. Uh, uh, listen, there was a movement started. Uh, in other words, he said, Peter, uh, uh, listen, when Peter and the other disciples uh, uh, began to start out preaching, uh, uh, there was a movement, brother, uh, uh, listen, that started, uh, uh, that's still going on today. Amen. What is that movement? It's called uh, uh, listen, Christianity. Uh, uh, listen, it's called salvation. Uh, it's called knowing in your heart uh, uh, that there is a God uh, and that he came and he died uh, uh, listen, in his own world uh, and gave his precious son uh, to die in his whole world uh, uh, that you and I might have life uh, and have it more abundantly. Uh, uh, listen, if we could only stand fast on the word of God, uh, Listen, knowing the truth shall set you free. And there's only one truth, and that's Jesus, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Now listen, and that's the way he's coming back, my friend. One day after a while, listen, we're going to stand. Listen, I believe, according to the word of God, that there's a trumpet going to sound so loud that the Bible says that the dead will rise. Listen, and then them that are alive and remain shall be called up to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, listen, uh, oh, we need to keep uh, uh, looking forward, keep pressing on toward that bar uh, of the high calling uh, until we can make heaven our home. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, think about Peter, uh, uh, that movement. Uh, uh, listen to Jesus. I uh, uh, told the disciple to start. He said to go and preach the gospel uh, uh, to every creature. Uh, uh, listen, he told him in Matthew, uh, uh, go baptizing them in the name of the Father, uh, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded. You. And lo, 
know I am with you always, even unto the end of this old world. Listen, we need to move. Listen, that movement is still going today. A man's tried to stop it. A man's tried to say, listen, that ain't nothing to it. Listen, but I want you to know it ain't better. It don't matter what you say or what the world says or what the world does. Listen, it don't change the fact he's still God and he's still on the throne. Jesus is still the Son of God. He still came and bled and shed his blood that I and you could have life everlasting, my friend. Today is the day of salvation. Listen, what are you going to do? Listen. And the brother that sings the song, listen, old song says, listen. Sinner man, where are you going to run to on that day? I want you to ask yourself that question. Where would you run to? Where could you hide from the man that created this world? Where in the world could you hide? Listen, I mean, even the Bible says a call for the rocks to fall upon them to hide them from the face of him that sits upon the throne. Listen, but we don't have to hide. Listen, we can give our hearts to God, and then all we have to do, listen, is accept him. Listen, and be ready to go. Uh, listen, uh, we don't have to be scared of the Lord coming, uh, but we need to get happy about it. Uh, uh, listen, God's children need to get happy. Uh, uh, listen, uh, we need to know. Uh, uh, listen, if you know beyond a shadow of doubt that God is yours, uh, uh, listen, uh, that he lives inside you, uh, uh, listen, then we need to get happy. We need that zeal back in us. Uh, we need that zeal that Peter had uh, uh, when he went. Uh, uh, listen, we need to have that zeal uh, uh, that Paul had. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I know a lot of people People preach about Paul a lot. Uh, listen, but he was persecuted. Uh, uh, listen, not even trusted by some of the Christians in those days. Uh, uh, listen, because he persecuted the church at first. Uh, uh, listen, but when God got a hold of him, uh, he began to see things a little different. Uh, uh, you see, that's the way it works in our life. Uh, uh, Brother Mikey, uh, uh, listen, when God gets a hold of you, you see things different. Uh, you understand that God is God. Uh, listen, and whether you understand it or not, uh, listen, it's still his way. Uh, it's not our way. Uh, it's not our standards to live up to. Uh, uh, but it is God's standards that we got to live up to. Uh, uh, listen, and you can't do it without Jesus. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, you can't do it. Uh, uh, listen, too many people today uh, uh, try to do things on their own. Uh, uh, listen, well, I'm a good person. Uh, uh, listen, that ain't good enough. Uh, uh, listen, well, I know. I do these things. I ain't like other people. But listen, I want you to know. But listen, you need to know the truth. The Bible says that the truth shall set you free. Listen, these people today don't want to hear the truth. Our government don't want to hear the truth. I'll tell you that. But listen, from the White House on down through all of our governments. But listen, I want you to know. But listen, they don't want the truth. But listen. They want to uh, uh, punish somebody uh, for telling the truth. Uh, listen, they want to make it uh, a hate crime. Uh, uh, listen, to tell somebody that it's wrong for men to be with men uh, or women with women. They want to be able uh, to tell, uh, uh, listen, that you can't talk about somebody. Uh, listen, but I want you to know uh, my Jesus said uh, that if you love them, you'll tell them the truth. Uh, that's what Jesus done. Uh, he was persecuted for telling the truth. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, listen, they didn't want the truth. Uh, listen, he needs to see the total said, uh, uh, listen, destroy this temple, uh, and in three days I will build it back again. Uh, uh, talking about himself. Uh, uh, listen, and that's exactly what he done. Uh, he laid in that old tomb. Uh, uh, that old body laid in that old tomb for three days. Uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, listen, but I'm going to tell you something on that appointed morning. Uh, uh, when he was to be resurrected, uh, I want you to know there was a noise made. Uh, uh, listen, and the Bible says, uh, uh, listen, that the ones that were keeping Watch. Uh, listen. Uh, uh, listen. Oh, uh, as they were dead. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, uh, they were amazed. Uh, you talk about being amazed. You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, uh, the world ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, but one day after a while, uh, uh, when this church is gone, uh, uh, when his children are called home, uh, uh, the Bible says that he'll come back with the saints. Uh, uh, listen, one day, uh, and there's going to be a big battle upon this earth. Uh, and you think about it, my friend. Uh, there's going to be a big battle upon this earth. And people on this earth, his hearts are going to be hardened so bad. Can you imagine someone actually trying to turn a gun toward the sky, thinking they're going to hurt the Lord? Now listen, but the Bible says he will destroy Satan and all his work with the brightness of his coming. Now listen, I want you to know, my 
friend. You got a way to escape these things that's coming upon this land. I listen, and that is Jesus. I listen. I we need a zeal for God. I listen. We need someone that's willing to stand up and say, "A God is still God, whether you believe it or not. A God is still on the throne. I'm making intercession for His children. I listen. We need to encourage each other as children of God. I'm a lost person. I listen. You need encouragement to know that anything that you're hanging on in this world, what's it worth to you? Is it worth dying and going to a devil's hell? Listen, I want you to know according to the word of God that this was never intended for you, but it was intended that we might go home to ever be with the Lord. But hell was created for the devil. Listen, that's what it was intended for. Listen, it was intended of listen for the devil and his angels. Listen, not us. Listen, for today is the day of salvation. Listen, let's make our move. Listen, what move are you going to make, my friend, is knowing that God is God. And besides him, there is none other. Listen, all things work to the good for them that love the Lord. To them that are called according to his purpose, my friend, that I know. I'll be on a shadow of a doubt that God said, oh, listen, when he comes again, he's coming to give us a reward. Oh, listen, oh, what's that reward, my friend? Oh, God said, oh, listen, that there's rewards according to our words. Oh, listen, I know a lot don't like to preach that, but that's the way it is, my friend. Uh, listen, uh, I'm going to overboard uh, that every child of God is going to receive that crown of life. Uh, knowing that you pass from death on the life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, when you get into heaven, uh, uh, listen, they sing an old song about uh, uh, trying to crown him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Uh, uh, listen, about taking my crown and laying it at the Lord's feet. Uh, uh, listen, my friend, he's already been crowned King of Kings. Uh, he is King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords. Uh, he is the only uh, of the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, and listen, my friend, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, let's get that zeal in us. Uh, uh, listen, let's have that zeal uh, uh, that we can tell someone, uh, uh, Brother Kurt, uh, uh, listen, that uh, uh, you don't have to be, uh, uh, listen, bound by drugs. Uh, you don't have to be uh, uh, bound by uh, alcohol. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, what are you going to do, Senator Mayor? Uh, uh, listen, uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, listen. I listen very seriously to this song that the brother is singing. Where are you going to run to, my friend, when that time comes? Where are you going to go? I listen, Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus asked the disciple one time, there were many that followed him, and a few fell off. And he began to look at the disciples and said, Will you too go away? And they said, Where do we go, Lord? Where can we go? Because of rejecting Jesus, 
There was not a drop wasted. There was enough to cover the sin of the whole world. You was not to ask me. be saying in your heart, I've tried it before. Listen. The Bible teaches us that he's married to the backslider. What does that mean, preacher? That means he's never left you. You might say, well, I've tried it, preacher, before, and I just couldn't live. Listen, if you truly put God first in the Word, you'll be able to live. I thank God. I thank God for Brother Kirk. Kurt's helped me out a lot on this program. He's preached on here. God's blessed him to preach some good messages. God bless him the same. I thank God for him. And I thank God for your prayers. And listen, pray for this program. So we can get back to going uh, full every Sunday again. Seems like we ain't been able to for a while. But you know something? Every time God blesses us to get a program out, I believe it is sent to touch somebody's heart. Don't you, Brother Kurt? Amen. I believe that with all my heart. And it's sent out. Pray for us. And remember, we got a prayer line. The number will be on the screen there. Don't be afraid to call and ask us to pray. We believe in the power of prayer. It ain't nothing we can do, but it's something we can do together. Man, the Bible says when two or more agree is touching anything. It can be done. We thank you. God bless you.